Welcome all you kind folks. If you've been here before, you know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take a few minutes to explore an art quote, and I'm going to show you uh, some recent uh, commissions paintings. This is uh, the fa fabulous, fantastical, amazing orange cat named Bubbles. And uh, this is a commission I did for a good friend that I've known on my Twitch.tv iPaintCreature stream for a while. And uh, this is for his niece, and uh, it's going up, up north, up, up, up north in the Washington area, in the Oregon area. And uh, she just adores this cat named Bubbles, so um, he convinced me to do uh, my version of um, the Bubbles the Cat with the, with the birthday hat for a birthday celebration. And so I'm going to talk about this uh, quote by Leon Trotsky and art is not a mirror to hold up the society but a hammer which to shape it and I thought that was a perfect quote for this uh, illustration because the more I do a lot of commission work I've been doing it most of my life but uh, it's really focused now and I've got it to a level where people really want to see my art more than just doing a landscape or a portrait and you know, uh, doing that graphic, graphic-y design type work where you're just trying to please what they want. And uh, it really comes down to, uh, I see, uh, even when I do this for a teenage uh, girl who loves this cat, um, she's also a creator and a painter too. So more than a mirror of showing uh, something that's important in her life and that she has passion for and a lot of love for this cat, yeah, I'm definitely giving her a hammer, which she can shape her reality with, right? Because, uh, you know, this made her very, very happy and made uh, the gentleman, my friend, who commissioned me very happy, too. And I know they're out there watching this video right now. And so how it becomes a, a hammer, which you can use, is uh, basically I gave you an example of you know the type of stuff and way you can spend your time doing something creative that you know means something a lot to someone else in their life and create a piece of art that is one of a kind in the world and i think that's a a hammer to help shaping the future of uh how you grow up and how you start to enter society if you're a teenager or you're uh younger on that level and uh basically it starts to show you that you can uh you know do something creative for someone and do something original and take the time and and still uh, make a living and make a difference in people's life because um i know she was real excited to get this and hang it up and and it's just a reminder of not only the the incredible cat bubbles but the the ability that you have to create in your life and and so yeah art can be a mirror that you hold up society and they could maybe see stuff but uh, I think on the surface you need to make it lots of fun and entertaining and more and more it's a model and that's where it becomes a tool and instrument you can give someone else so they can hammer into shape whatever um, their reality is and, and give them the strength to do it and I also do it by showing them how much fun I have and the looseness of my paintings and, and the joy of um, representing this cat but also expressing it the way I see the cat more than it has to be exact like the cat because we have so many cell phones and you can just take a picture of you if you want the exact representation but there's just a lot of magic and I, I think it also shapes uh, society in the fact that I, I did it for her uncle and now the uncle is a part of this whole experience of creating this one of kind art that isn't duplicated anywhere on the planet and and brings a lot of meaning in and that's where I believe art is a hammer to shape society and shape life with because if you kind of take away a lot of the art especially in my life in the beginning a lot of music and a lot of painters and drawers and I was didn't know this long this uh, part of my life I'd be all inspired by you know the, the works of Dr. Seuss and Morris Sendak and Shel Silverstein and Charles Schultz and the heavy work of uh, Joseph Campbell and Akira Kurosawa making films and you know driven by just that instinct to like oh I mean do that but it also adds up to definitely um, you know coming into other people's lives because uh, this was you know my 
my contribution of being creative and painting this uh, so they could have it as a memoir and a good birthday present. But uh, it was definitely the art and vision between me and uh, the client, the uncle of the teenagers. So I hope you enjoyed this replay of Bubbles the Cat. And I'll talk to you all real, real soon. Peace.